How do elk know when to migrate, where to go, and how to get there? How do they maximize their chances of survival? Our cameras gave us some clues into their strategy. They tell a story of migration beginning in October, peaking in November, and trailing off into December. So what's going on that made this big pulse of migration happen? If we look back to the days when most elk were moving, we can see a huge storm rolled through. As snow piles up in the high country, the grass gets buried and the food becomes scarce. So the elk know they must get to lower ground where there is less snow. The storm kicked off the major wave of migration. Hundreds of elk came through. It was almost continuous traffic for three days. Big bulls migrate first, breaking the trail, while the rest move in groups following a few experienced leaders. Usually it's the lead cow that determines it's time to go. The elk calves, having never migrated before, are learning their roots from their mothers. The timing of migration is crucial. Some elk don't time it right and they struggle through in December, spending more energy and burning off their fat reserves. That's a danger because they may not have enough fat left to survive the winter or successfully carry their pregnancies to full term. So for elk, knowing the best time to migrate and the right routes to travel when the weather turns can be a matter of life or death. Thanks for watching On the Elk Trail, a Wyoming migration miniseries. Use the links below or to the side to check out our other videos, or follow our page and our channel to see the rest of our videos.